Good morning children. Grade 6 English. English course book unit 1. And unit 1 just for fun. Children, if we think about the word comedy, what comes into our mind? We can think about some famous comic actors and comedians and well-known cartoon characters. Here we can see some well-known comic actors. The first one is Charlie Chaplin and the second one is Manorama and the third one is Mehmood and the fourth one is Rowan Atkinson. So, comic actors have a special ability to make people laugh. They help us forget about our problems and bring us happiness. So, whenever we feel sad, we can have a comic show, comedy show, we can see a comedy show or we can enjoy some, seeing some comic cartoons. Now, here we go into the first lesson, Uncle Podger hangs a picture. Jerome Klapaka Jerome was an English writer and humorist, best known for the comic travelogue Three Men in a Boat. Other works include the essay collections Idle Thoughts of an Idle Fellow and Second Thoughts of an Idle Fellow. Three Men on the Bummel, a sequel to the Three Men in a Boat and other novels. So, this is the introduction of the writer. Uncle Podger is a character who makes the readers laugh. He feels himself to be a man of ability and skills. He keeps bragging that he could do any sort of job himself without anyone's help. But in reality, he involves others in the job and finally, after messing things up, does the work with imperfection. The story Uncle Podger hangs a picture is about the whole description of how Uncle Podger hangs a picture on the wall. He was very confident as he assumes himself to be the best to complete the job. In order to complete such mental job of hanging a picture, Uncle Podger makes the whole family engage in doing some of the other work. He assigns some work to all the members and asks them to do it with their maximum efficiency. While hanging the picture, uncle drops the picture and the frame breaks away. The broken pieces of glass wounds the hands of the uncle. He keeps searching for a handkerchief but was unable to find one as it is in the pocket of his coat. He makes the six of his children hunt for his coat and shouts at them. After the completion of the process of changing the frame, uncle loses the nails and which the children have to find for him. With a lot of mess created, uncle Porger blames aunt Maria to be responsible for creating the fuss. In the end, he says that hanging picture is such a manual job for any man to perform. The story is an example of the underestimation which the women and other members of the family face. The male of the family is the head of the family irrespective of his inefficiency. He is able to complete any job with the help of every member of the family but takes the credit alone. For him, the females are just the one who creates a fuss. He assumes himself to be the best at every job. Let us go to question and answers part from our page 15. You never saw such a commotion up and down a house in all your life as when my uncle Porger undertook to do a job. What was the job he undertook to do? The job was to hang a framed 
picture upon the wall and see the next one how did he cause commotion at home he would cause a commotion by assigning every member of the family of the house little errands to help him with his job and he would make a mess of it list any five things or objects that uncle podger used for hanging the picture on the wall hammer kitchen chair step ladder nails and picture cord these are the things that uncle podger used for hanging the picture on the wall doesn't anybody in the whole house know where my coat is why did uncle podger ask people to search for his coat uncle podger asked people to search for his coat because he had cut his hand on a piece of broken glass and he wanted to tie it with his handkerchief which was in his coat pocket where was the coat found the coat was found right where uncle podger was sitting as he was sitting on it what does the incident tell you about uncle podger the incident tells us that uncle podger is a careless person oh you leave that to me don't you any of you worry yourself about that all i will do all that does uncle podger do all the work what really happens in the story uncle podger hardly does any of the work he sends the children away to fetch and buy the things that he required to hang the picture and after a day of mishaps barely manages to hang the picture up crookedly how did uncle podger make several attempts to hang the picture here are a few statements about it say whether they are true or false in the first attempt uncle podger broke the glass and cut himself true when he attempted to hang the picture the second time he lost the sight of the mark he had made on the wall false he finally managed to put up the picture in the third attempt false how did the family feel after the picture was finally put up happy and relieved tired and miserable give reasons for your answer the family felt tired and miserable because even after a whole day of serving as assistants to uncle podger and being scolded by him the end result of their work was a crookedly hung picture and a severely damaged wall here are a few words to describe uncle podger circle the ones that describe him best clumsy messy comical bossy short tempered there are many incidents in the story that make us laugh choose any two incidents that you think are really funny and say why you think so work in groups for 3 or 4 when uncle podger fell on the wall and the piano so these two incidents make us laugh in the story in the story uncle podger sends all the members of his family on errands and give them different instructions he also shouts at some of them and calls them fools surprisingly instead of getting angry with him for his behavior the entire family stands around to help him discuss in groups of 4 or 5 do you think it is important to respect the older member of the family and obey them yes we have to respect the older members of the family give your opinion and discuss why you think so if we sometimes feel that it is not possible to obey older people in what ways do you think we can tell them so the older people of the family should be respected and obeyed because they have more experience than us and are wiser in many aspects however some older people do have trouble in keeping pace with the changes that modern life necessitates in any disagreements arise out of this they should still be dealt with respectfully 
look at these words which make compound nouns so joining of two words are called compound nouns joining two nouns are called compound nouns compound nouns can be written as two words they may be written with a hyphen or without a hyphen compound nouns can be countable and also can be uncountable Count compound nouns can be used either in the singular form or in the plural form complete the following co compound nouns with a noun post man alarm clock blood pressure book warm labor day greenhouse effect luxury car traffic lights match the words in the column a and b to make compound nouns in column c pedestrian youth brain data deck chair bank club crossing drain so here we have to match column a with column b pedestrian crossing youth club brain drain data base deck chair fill in the blanks in the following sentences with a suitable compound noun from column c in recent years india has seen a lot of brain drain financial analysis go to a data bank for information the tourist was relaxing in a deck chair on the beach an old man was waiting at the pedestrian crossing or for a long time a cultural program was organized by the youth club in the colony now let us learn syllables and how to pronounce a word listen to these words cottage man go garden practice success humor each part of the word is called a syllable in each syllable there is a vowel sound here the letters that stand for these vowel sounds are shown in italics here are a few words from the text split each word as shown in the examples above then underline the letters that stand for the vowel sound in each of the words hammer kitchen growl flatten spirit ladder picture crooked plaster measure look at the following sentences from the text he would take off his coat and begin he would send the girl out for six penny worth of nails he would gradually work down and start the whole house he would drop lift the picture and drop it and it would come out of the frame and he would try to save the glass and cut himself and then he would spring round the room looking for his handkerchief in these sentences would is used to describe actions that are habitual and are typical of a person would is common in written language and often occurs when we think about the past the strange things about mrs singh was that whenever it rained she would go out write a short paragraph on any person you know a friend a member of your family a neighbor who has strange habits and behaves unusually use would wherever appropriate look at this sentence uncle porter tried to hang the picture once twice three times the words once twice three times etc are used to say how often something happens for example how often do you go to the market i go to the market twice a week how often do you visit your grandparents i visit my grandparents once a month 
How many times do you brush your teeth every day? I brush my teeth twice a day. How often do you go to the movies? I go to the movies once in two months. How many times did you go on a trip last year? I went on a trip twice last year. How often do you go to the library? I go to the library once in a week. So here you are expressing how many times, how often something happens. Now let us learn this. Study this example from the story. He could not find his handkerchief because it was in the pocket of the coat he had taken off. Expression, expressing reasons using because. Give reasons for the following. Remember to use because. Climbing Mount Everest is difficult because the slope is steep and dangerous. Some animals hibernate in winters because they need to conserve energy. Primitive people lived in caves because he had not learned to build houses then. We plant trees because they are essential for environment. Some people wear spectacles because they are short-sighted or long-sighted. Thank you.